Do you want to improve at a quicker pace? Check out the Git Good course. Instead of just understanding concepts, you'll learn how to implement them directly into your driving. What makes it effective is the approach and practical drills. Together, we're gonna focus on breaking down those complex concepts into small digestible bits that are simple to understand. Everything from the course was tested and refined during the years in coaching sessions, so what I ended up with was the ones that I saw were the most effective. Let's elevate your racing skills together. Now for the track guide. If you like this content and if you learn something out of it, giving it a like or a subscribe, it's a free way to support the channel as I can push more content like this with the YouTube algorithm. Going into the track guide itself, for turn 1 my reference for braking is this curve on the left side. I want to brake slightly past it, so right now I'm applying the brakes and super important to brake at 100% brake pressure. You have to maximize the efficiency under braking into this corner, especially with this car, whenever you have a lot of downforce. We have to use it to stop the car. So I'm running a very low brake bias. My brake bias right now is with a fixed setup, but my brake bias is 55.2. I'm braking in a straight line as much as I can to shave the speed. And then when turning into the corner, I aim to touch this part of the curb. So you want to go a bit deeper than the white line, so you don't want to touch the white line, you actually want to touch this curb, but in the first part of it. So don't touch it higher, like right now, near the green, but touch it in the first part of it, like this. Just putting the tire in the beginning of the curb, whenever it's not that tall, and then after the trailing, pushing the throttle, build up your throttle, so notice how much it took me to reach 100%, so don't stamp on it because the car is gonna spin, just be patient with your throttle application. And now going into our second corner, high speed corner again, the 50 meter board is the reference for turning and braking. So you first want to turn the car, so 100% throttle right now turning the steering wheel, so I have a bit of steering wheel input, and then once you're traveling towards the apex, like right now, I'm pressing a very little tap on the brakes, this is instantly making the rear snap. So right now, if you notice, I generated a lot of rotation on entry, and this is key. You want to get this rotation early enough by making the rear tires looser. So you want to turn, barely brake, and aim at this stick. You want to go as close as you can to the stick. So if you notice right now, it's almost like I'm cutting it with my left tire. So we want to get very close and then immediately afterwards putting the throttle back. You can use even a bit more on this exit on the right side than what I used here. So there's one tenth more or half a tenth I would say in this corner if you push it more. Now for the next corner you just want to maintain the car. You still want to push with 100% throttle but you don't want to be on the exit of it very far on the left side it will compromise the next corner so what i'm using right now is this grass on the in the uh, center of the view right now whenever i won't see this grass anymore and i'm pushing the car to go close to the white line like, but right now the grass starts to disappear from the middle of the screen and now i'm applying the brakes four percent braking no more you can even do a lift but i think just adding a little trail brake will help a bit better and picking up the throttle back again, because ideally you want to cut this uh, drain part on the right side. You want to put your right tire on it, this is going to give you a very good exit. You're still going to get a bit more towards the left, but you have enough time to reposition like this. And the moment I'm braking right now is the moment that I have my steering wheel straight after I reposition the car. It's going to be before the 50 meter board. And super important here, you don't want to brake very hard. You want to drop the brakes and bleed the brake pressure as quickly as you can while you're going downhill. Because it's super, super likely that your inside left tire will lock up into this corner, this elevation change. So what I'm focusing is to brake quickly, to brake sharply and to release very, very quickly the brakes. So right now, notice how quickly I'm releasing the brakes. This triangle right now, it's so sharp in the release and I'm aiming to hit this green part of the curve, like, like this. 
and immediately put the throttle down. You will see that if you won't hit it, you will go around it and you will feel the car being a bit loose. That's the moment when you're not using all the four tires and you will, you will lose lap time. So get that apex deep enough. And now for the next corner, keeping the shortest line possible like this, going all the way to the left, and before the 50 meter board, I'm looking now at the 50 and now I'm applying the brakes. It's exactly like turn one. You're arriving here with a lot of speed. You want to brake as hard as you can. You want to reach 100% on the brakes. Downshifting very, very quickly and trying to apex in first gear and cut this curb like this. You want to cut it late though. Put your tire on it, give it a blimp of throttle and go to third gear quickly. Like right now, second, I'm dropping the throttle but I'm giving it third, I'm upshifting to turn so that it will be a bit easier for me on the exit of the corner. Yes, you might lose like half a tenth, but it's gonna be a lot more stable and predictable if you will do it in third. So it's, on average this is gonna be faster. Now, pushing the car all the way here on the left, and whenever the car arrives on the left curb, I'm braking and turning into this corner. And again, you want to get very close to the stick and cut it late near the green. That's going to give you a good exit in which you won't run out of track. Now, next corner again, those are the most trickiest corners, this low speed. Um, I'm planning to push the car all the way to the right here and in terms of braking, whenever I feel like the elevation, whenever I feel like the car is going uphill, that's the moment I'm applying the brakes. Add the white line on the right side, now turning into the corner, looking at the stick and planning to cut it after the stick. So I'm not putting the tire on the curb before the stick, but afterwards, like right now I'm touching it. Putting the throttle down, the car is gonna be a bit oversteer here, but you have to, to handle it. And the next corner, what you can do to do it better than what I did here is to push it more. So brake later, go a bit more uphill, and then brake exactly like we did in the previous corner, go more towards the left and then cut it and put the throttle back. You want to again to apex at the end of gr this green curb on the right side so you get a nice late apex and in short that's a track guide around Fuji with the SF23. It's a fun combo, I hope you'll have a great week and if you want to accelerate the progress then check out my sim racing course in the video description, it's a lot of value in it and I think it will make you faster. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye.